Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. And today I've got a special treat for you. We're getting into summertime, right? Everybody's a fanatic about the weather. How hot is it gonna get today? How hot is it gonna get this week? How hot has it been this past week? So uh, I've had these, uh, <clears throat> these thermometers that actually stick on to your sliding glass doors and to your windows on exit points around my house over the last few years. Actually, I had them on previous homes as well. I really like them. So when you're going out, you know what temperature it is. You know what you should be wearing at that time. So I brought in a big haul because one of mine failed after I think it was about three or four years old. That's okay. It was a cheapo thermostat. These are all pretty reasonable priced. And uh, I just bought a whole bunch of them because I thought it'd be neat to go over them and just see how many different ones were out there. And uh, at the time, going through Amazon, searching through the pages, I was just looking for different stick-on ones that stick on the outside of a glass that you can see through the glass and read the temperature from outside, right? So I had no idea what size these were. Uh, like I got this window clean one here. That's a pretty good size one. So if you are glasses or something like that, this could be a good one. And this is a uh, clean one. Usually I see suction cups. So that'll be interesting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mount all these to one of my doors uh, with glass on it. And we're gonna see if they all read pretty much the same temperature. If one of them's way off, maybe that's not gonna be a very accurate one. We're gonna see which one looks better on the glass, uh, how far away you can read them, um, and uh, just see which ones we like, all right? So this is our first one. And this one's a window cling thermometer uh, by Springfield. Next one, man, this thing, this thing is very large. This is called the uh, Optics Weather Station 2. And it's got two dials on it. Okay, one is for humidity, the lower one's for the humidity percentage, and the upper one is for your temperature. Okay. Next one we got here. Okay, now this is like the ones I've been getting, the LaCrosse technology one. And this one, uh, this is like a two-sided sticky tape, I believe, that you peel off and it actually sticks to your glass. And it's got an LCD readout by LaCrosse. Outdoor window thermometer. All right, next one, we got another big one. Uh, this is Marathon Suction Cup Window Thermometer. This looks pretty cool, basic, old school style thermometer. I think I might like this one. Although I do like digital. It's, digital just always seems easier to read out in your mind. You're not reading a gauge, you know? So I do like digital readout. You just get the instant uh, degree that you want to see. And this is a nice compact one. This would be probably better on like a window or something. It's so compact and that's a digital readout and it sticks on with a suction cup by uh, Accurate Outdoor Window Thermometer. All right, we got another one by Springfield. This one's smaller, shows your temperature, and uh, it's a suction cup. I like, uh, I like how they kind of did the, uh, the degrees. It gets like, uh, goes from purple, blue, to green, to yellow, to red hot, when it gets really hot out, right? So you get a visual with that one. And our last one, Okay, I just picked this up because I thought it was a cool uh, device. It's a thermometer. It's a digital Zippo gauge, weather at a glance. And what this does, it's got a clamp on it. You could either use this for a keychain, so you always have the temperature at uh, wherever you go, or you could, uh, they advertise it where you can hook it, loop it onto a uh, zipper, like a jacket. You can always look down at it and see what temperature it is anywhere you go. So I thought that was cool. Uh, I'll try to hang that up somewhere out there, see if we get the same readings as we do with these and uh, see what type of accuracy we get. I'm not sure how we're gonna be able to tell the accuracy. I would just assume that the majority of these, say 90% of these should be reading the same temperature at least within one degree. And if we get one that's like four or five degrees off, uh, something's probably wrong with that uh, thermometer. All right, guys, so that is it in the box. 
Let's go stick these up on our window, test window, and see which one is more appealing. Stay tuned, guys. Alright guys, here's our first one. The Optics Weather Station 2 by Electro Optics Inc. Now this one uh, says this is actual size, right? And it says clings electrostatically, mercury free. And it's this model is the Fahrenheit degree model, not Celsius. So that's what we want in the USA. Alright, that's it. Just kind of like a vinyl, a vinyl sheeting there. It says peel here. Okay, so it's in reverse, so I can stick this on the outside of the window. It should show correctly inside. I'm gonna go do that. All right, guys, it's going on pretty good. I'm just using my uh, license, driver's license, to uh, get all the air bubbles out. Let me see how that looks from this side. All right, pretty nice. Currently, it's reading about 74 degrees or so. Okay, let's do with our next one. Now I'm doing these uh, from largest to smallest. That's how we're gonna do these. This one I gotta cut open. Okay. I hate these types of packages, I really do. They should outlaw these bubble packs. I guess it's best to use scissors on these types of packages. And this is another static cling one. Like this. See, just some uh, like clear vinyl around there. So we'll go stick this one on. We got license again. So, I mean, they say it's static clean, and uh, it really is. It's a little bit humid out here right now, I can tell you that. I just don't know how well, like see on the sides here, that static cling is kind of bubbled up. I'm not sure we're gonna like this one, guys. I mean, the, the numbers and stuff are colorful, bold and clear. I do like that, but I could see this peeling off within no time, that one there. It's already peeling off. That one might be a no-go, guys. All right, the next one is Marathon. This is a suction cup one. Usually the suction cup ones, uh, I've had good luck with. I've never purchased a static cling one until now. Oh man, look at this. This is a unique idea. This whole gauge is a suction cup. It's like a huge <laughs> suction cup. I've never seen anything like that. That is one big suction cup. So I'm going to wet this down in the sink. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I applied just a little bit of moisture on there, some tap water. We'll go see if this sucks right on here. Try to get it straight up and down as close as I can get it. Just press it on and push it out to the edges. Huh. Looks like it's going on pretty good. I probably shouldn't have put as much water in there. In there. I didn't think I put that much, but all the heat will get that out eventually anyway. It is sticking up there pretty well. Sticking up there good. I do like that one. Yeah, that one, uh, we'll see if it sticks, but I do like that one. And back 
to my normal one as I told you I've had this several times before several places around the house this one I had really good luck with like I said my recent one failed but it's lasted probably a good three four years I think I replaced the batteries in it once but now it's just uh, I think the Sun just killed it I can't get a display going and it gets like aged cobwebs around it and you got to take it off and clean it this is going to be a brand new fresh one and this I guess is our first battery operated one so this one takes a battery so you get this unit here the see-through glass stick-on unit there's some uh, 3m sticky tape right there on both corners and this here is a protective cover glass it's frosted actually what this is this is frosted so if you're looking through it you don't want to see all the way through it you need something to like some kind of background so you can see the uh, the numbers on there the digital numbers it makes it a little bit easier to see you can use it with or without this piece here we're going to use it without at first I'm going to keep that handy though and this one we're going to have to take a pause because I have to uh, remove this screw here I don't think it comes with a battery let me see uh, oh it says battery included but I'm going to have to remove this and I believe it's probably going to be protected by some tape there's also a film on here there's a protective film so don't forget to peel that off protective film on both sides I believe otherwise it's not going to be clear for you and one side of the film had like fake digital numbers on it see this one had fake digital numbers just to give it a sample of how it's supposed to look and then here's the other side peeling off now we're ready to go up now this here trying to see how oh I see so this here uh, stick this on the glass right on the outside and then these clip in to the grooves the slots right there just like that but I got to make sure the battery's working first let me go get a little mini screwdriver I'll be right back all right guys I got a screwdriver we're gonna loosen this battery compartment here see what's going on inside and sure enough there's a piece of uh, tape or something in there a piece of paper Let's just take that out grab that pull it out a piece of paper now we've got numbers on there and I noticed that's got a weatherproof rubber seal around the battery compartment so that's going to be nice to keep that protected since this is going to be located right outside your glass door or window just snug it up against that seal and there we go it's reading 84.4 degrees right now now I'm going to unpeel this just 3m sticky tape paper backing take that off take that off I'll go ahead I want to make sure the lettering says lacrosse technology make sure that's facing right side up and that's going on good and that stuff is pretty sticky I can tell and this just clips in there and we're clipped in there let's see if we need the frosted backing actually I'm gonna leave it well let me see how it looks with it on there I can still read the numbers but let me put it on Oops. okay all right we got the frosted backing on yeah you can read it a whole lot better so 
I guess I would recommend having the frosted backing on that one. Okay, let's move on. Our next one is by Springfield again. It's got a smaller suction cup. It's colorful, nice and colorful display. Looks like this packaging's easier to open. Get that out. Oops, something fell down here. That's just a piece of the packaging, it looks like. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna dab this with a little bit of water, the suction cup here, if you can see that. So I'm gonna try to get this on pretty straight, right about here. One thing I notice on this, it is sticking out the glass. Uh, almost the furthest amount. This top one up here, the static cling sticks out, I guess, the most. I'll just give you a better view of that in just a moment. On to our next thermometer, though. Let's see that. That one looks pretty good. I like that. Easy to read. And this next one's by Accurate Outdoor Window Thermometer. It's got a little suction cup about the same size as the last one we installed there. And it says easy one, two, three setup. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Suction cup mounted. Battery included, it says. It takes an L1154 battery, so it's kind of a uh, unique size battery. Hopefully it lasts a long time. So I just want to pack this one. Like they really wanted to protect this one. All right, guys, and man, if you want to read the instructions on this, you got plenty to keep you busy on doing that. I just want to read uh, what the temperature is outside. Jeez, I don't know why it needs all that instructions. Okay, now this. Okay, it's got an on-off switch, and it's got like a little uh, rubber plastic cover there. And then some sort of a button. Does this plastic cover come off? Because, yeah, it looks like it's on switch to off when you get it. And I just peeled this, that little cover up, plastic clear cover. I peeled that up with my fingernail. Just moved it aside. I'm going to turn it on. Yeah, I see it. It's turned on now. So I'm going to put the plastic cover back in. It's got two little push pins that protects your switch from the weather. And now you can peel off the fake numbers for display purposes. It's got like a little plastic covering. That is really cool. I like this one a lot. It's sharp for being this small. I'm going to go wet the suction cup. I'll be right back. And I'm going to put this one right here. And it sticks on very good. Now, we got a glass full of temperature thermometers right now, guys. So let's see how these look up close. You haven't seen it up close yet. I haven't really taken a step back and looked at them, but uh, I don't know, guys, which one. I And I apologize, I cleaned my glass windows here too, but it's uh, a double pane and uh, I think it's the inside of the glass. It's a little bit foggy, but here's our first one. That's the big one. And uh, that was a static cling. And it did cling very well. This other one up here was a static cling as well, but I don't know if you can tell, I'll show you the backsides too, but it, it's kind of peeling up along this top outer edge. And right here, kind of like it's wrinkled because it's not sticking. So that one right there, I'd have to say no. That's a no-go right there. Our next one, this was the big suction cup. That entire, whoops, our 3M one's coming off. I gotta go catch it. Shoot. Ah, well, guys, this 3M sticky tape 
didn't do real well. And I told you, I, I cleaned the glass too before I started this project with you. Hmm. I wonder if it's because of the humidity out here that suction or 3M tape is not working real well. I've got some really sticky stuff I can use. I'll try it one more time. If it doesn't work, I'll come back out to that and uh, put that real sticky 3M tape on there. Okay, so that was the big suction cup. Then we had the one that I'm used to that I don't know why it just fell down all by itself. It's got a nice display. It tells you minimum and maximum temperatures that it's been during the current day. And then this one I like. I thought that was very sharp. But, I mean, if you're up to it close, you can read it real well. It says 82.4 Fahrenheit. I don't know if you guys can pick it up. I really liked it out of the package, right out of the package, but maybe if it was uh, had a background with like some trees behind it or something like that, it'd be, uh, it'd look really nice how I thought it was right out of the package. And that's just with a little suction cup there. And then another one, little suction cup right here. This has got lots of color, uh, nice dark numbers. Seems easy to read. You get the color effect. When it gets into the red, you're getting into the really high temperatures. So guys, let's go take a look around the back side of these. I'll show you how some of them were kind of sticking out a lot. So you can see right there how far they stick out, like their temperature units and stuff like that. This one sticks out, the whole unit sticks out with just the suction cup up against the glass there. Here's our digital ones right here. And that's our big first static cling one and their digital units stick out here and they've got like the uh, air holes to collect that temperature input on all of those there. All the ones with the gauges, they have the air holes. So these are our two battery operated ones here. Hi guys, all right, we're back the next day and uh, we're checking the thermometers out. I've got rankings for each one. Now you can see these, you're about, uh, the camera's about five feet away, four or five feet. As far as visibility, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. So we're just leaving two out, I think. As far as visibility, these are the easiest to see right here. The top located ones here. And this is uh, one of my favorites, the digital one. But guess what guys, last night, this one, uh, unattached from the 3M sticky adhesive and dropped to the ground. Uh, so I've got some really strong 3M sticky adhesive. I'll put the link in the link below. If you like this one, I do like this one. I've got a mount already on my slider at the uh, pool area. So I'm gonna actually take the display off and mount it over there and have that back over there again that we're used, we're used to this one. So we like it so much. As far as these other ones, uh, my dad, he said he liked this one. It's nice and bold and clear, very large numbers, easy to see, especially if you have vision issues and stuff like that. The only thing with this one, uh, it's kind of, it's got a defect. All the blue area around it, around the shape here, doesn't adhere. It's like a thicker material. And what's gonna happen, dust is gonna get in there and dirt within time and it's gonna look really grimy. Uh, so that one, it just, it's a failure. Even though it looks really nice, it is a failure. I would not recommend that one. This one with the uh, clink, static cling, this one works really well compared to this static cling. This one is a success and it's a large one with humidity and temperature as well. So that one is a go. This one is a huge suction cup. Didn't come off, it's still stuck there. I think it will be stuck there for a long, long time. So I do like that one. It's got your large display. That one is a go. And of course, this one is a, a go if you have replacement sticky tape, just because it's digital and easy to read from far away. You don't have to be right up on it. And this one here, this is a little small one, I think it's from Springfield. That one, yeah, that's a Springfield one. I like it, it's nice and colorful. It's a, a little bit smaller, great for windows and stuff like that. Or if you put it about eye height when you're going out the door, 
that will be easy to check. It's nice and bold and clear. It's just a little bit smaller. So it's gonna take uh, some focus to get on it and uh, see the reading. This one, unfortunately, comes in last place. Like I said, I liked it at first, right out of the package. It's really neat, compact, and it's got a really slick display, but the display is kind of dim and it's narrow uh, figures on it. So it's really hard to make out unless you're up on it. Like I'm right here and I can tell it says 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but I'm like about a foot away from it. So that, I don't know, I, that's just a mediocre one. I wouldn't recommend it around the house. Uh, I really wanted to like that one. It was really slick in your hand, but I can't recommend it. Uh, it's just, it's too small. So guys, that's it. So the ones I recommend, I'm gonna put numbers on these in order of uh, from one to, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, from one to six, top one being number one. I'll put the numbers right here and we'll take a look at it, guys. Guys, I want to thank you again for watching another one of my videos. I hope everyone stays cool this summer. Get indoors if you're too hot. Get out there on your uh, scooters, on your uh, Segways, stuff like that. Get some sports in. Um, get some swimming in as well. I hope you all have a great summer. I know I'm going to try to, but I'm going to still be filming these videos for you just to keep you entertained. Guys, I thank you again and I'll see you on the next video.